Hi guys, welcome back to Replayers SG where we unbox, review and show you how these games are played. So today we have Chronicles of Crime, the Millennium series and this is the 2400. So as of the video, um, actually the application is not done yet or not fully developed for this. The 1900s one was out um, recently but the 2400 ones they are still uh, doing it. Uh, they're still developing the app so that we can uh, actually use the app to play so again, uh, so again if you do not know Chronicles of Crime is actually an app based game so they do provide you with uh, some sort of components here but they are it is still mainly app driven uh, so basically you use the component you scan the QR code then the app will tell you what to do from there and yeah so uh, this is the last of their series uh, from their recent Kickstarter. The chain also recent, I think it was last year. So this is actually set in the future, or at least in a very futuristic and modern world. So you can see from here the the raven and the character itself is also different. So you can see a very futuristic vibe to to the to the artwork. Again, it does not have a set number of players so it's a fully cooperative game so everybody can just uh, play it together and try to solve the crimes together so yeah so let's get this open and run through the components Alright, so again this is Chronicles of Crime 2400 and let's see what comes in the box. Alright, so again we are greeted with the rule book, which is not very lengthy. So basically for the different series they just have a sort of a li slightly different mechanics like the one in 1900 was the one where you could uh, sorry the 1400 was the one that you could you are using visions to guide your, your mystery and for the 1900 one was the puzzle that was uh, special so this will be will have something that's different for it so the player board the main board is different and we have this new player board which I can show you later alright so this is slightly different from the rest in that sense so we have this again it has this rhino uh, rhino logo here and the material is the same it still uh, it's still the same material they use so we can tell from the sound that it's a very matte finish yeah so we have all these different uh, areas as well as the ones for your character so there's the back there's the front and this is the player box so it's just a gear icon at the back and it's made of the same material maybe slightly thinner from what I can tell so we do have like a few slots here so basically these are like kind of upgrades to your character that uh, I guess will help you throughout your investigation so that's what's special for this game yeah and again we have this very nice very thick very thick uh, cover here with Chronicles of Crime over here embossed so let's check out these cards so again they are using the same insert uh, for all the games but then for this one it doesn't have the vision or the puzzle cards which the other two have so these are the player box let's try to get this out 
Okay, so this is home. As you can tell from this icon here. So this is like a very tacky place. It's the same from the back. So this is location A, it's a very nice like metropolis kind of feel, very futuristic. If you can tell from the artwork, looks like they are all going green. So the flip side is B, so there's like a night view of it. I mean it's a different place but it's like set in the night. This is C, seems like not, doesn't feel like it's a physical place seems like a virtual place you can see over here so again the texture on it it's matte and it's a uh, basically it's kind of the same material same thickness so this one is like the ones in runes pretty interesting artwork so this is like the garbage place where a lot of interesting things happen so this is like the flip side so this again is like a shopping mall there's the city view very nice futuristic theme which I'm usually not into but this seems quite pretty so this is like a their street <coughs> it's like a mystery mysterious place and again, somewhere that's not physical. Again, they have this yellow border. Maybe that represents that it's not a physical place. Likewise for for this, it's also yellow background. This is like the market. And another darker view of the market. So again, the artwork here is really nice. Again, another non-physical place as indicated by this border that I just made up and Eiffel Tower interesting so that's it for the location so we can open up this next so these are not too sure what these are so it's, it also has like the raven like in the 1400s they had the Percivo which is the dog so let's see what this is for for we have character cards, special item cards, and our raven. So this is uh, a companion. These are always a bit difficult to get out. Yep. So first we are greeted with our raven. So again you can see here it's uh, I think it will be like a thinner kind of material as compared to the box. So this is your raven and the flip side is the same. And this is our characters. So they all have this like kind of scar and like uh, robot implants on them so they all look different so that's like a real robot so I'm thinking the crimes here will be pretty interesting <clears throat> so once again things people that look like criminals maybe oh, this cool it's like an AI or something so like for someone as like maybe devious looking as this could be a bad guy in one scenario and a good guy in another scenario so again that's why we just have their names or any other information just a portrait of them so yeah this gives them a lot more flexibility when they are doing the app and the scenarios so that's like a blank guy Oh, this looks like Friday the 13th. This look like us. Okay, so yeah. So they are all numbered at the back. Same bags. So I guess I'll put them here. Again, they do have all these notches 
that makes it really easy to take it up and they do leave a lot of space and uh, depth here you can see it's probably enough for some thin sleeves if you are uh, sleeving your cards but again they do require like QR code scanning so maybe sleeving is not a very good idea for this game but well if you are into that I mean I do sleeve my games but then mostly because I handle the cards often but for this I guess we'll be handling the app more often than not this is probably where we'll find the special cards which could be our upgrades so these are all the items they're pretty much the same they look the same so we have 30 plus of them 38 last one is money so they are numbered on the back as well yep so these are the items so these are the special item cards which i guess i i am able to show yep so these are the gear cards gear icon so it looks very similar to the ones that we have that's at the back of this lady so it looks the same I'm thinking it's, the, it's for the same thing so we have these icons looks like an IC chip DNA sword globe Da Vinci eyeball codes virtual screens and death probably so yeah this is pretty interesting so it kind of fits into the artwork as like an oh sorry it's like an upgraded part of your body that's pretty cool let's see how it looks so this one basically looks like this so you can see with without so we have the extra eye over there and this is like an upgrade to your ear it is cool so i kind of like things that have this like it kind of fits into the overall artwork really nicely yeah and we have a few others so this one is probably the shoulder with the added this thing so that's your almost fully upgraded character so I believe these are parts that will help you solve the crime maybe like super hearing or like extra vision of sorts but what's weird is that there's five slots but there's only four cards so there's no other cards here that matches up so that's interesting to see and these are numbered one to four you can see over here they are numbered one to four so yeah pretty interesting game so I believe this this one will be like really the most interesting out of all of them or maybe the puzzle one is cool too yeah again I haven't started playing this not even the 1400s yet but I will try my best to give a review if I can about this game so yeah again I bought these games from Hickster in Shopee from uh, Singapore so I'll link his shop down below if you're interested and yeah he's a nice guy very patient and knowledgeable guy so again this is chronicles of crime 2400s if you like what you see here please do remember to subscribe like the video and comment down below if you are as eager as i am to play 2400s and what's the cool mechanics that you like about this game so again leave a comment down below and i'll be linking the description uh gigsters shop below all right so this is Chronicles of Crime 2400 Thanks for watching